It's those doing the wrong thing driving our record case numbers. Among the most concerning cases, a COVID patient who's tonight on the run from a hotspot. Police and health authorities have issued an urgent appeal. Anthony Caram knows he is COVID positive when he steps into this public lift. Already breaking so many rules, he doesn't bother to cover his mouth as he sneezes and splutters. The 27-year-old is still infectious but has gone missing from his Wentworth Point apartment. A warrant now issued for his arrest. This 27-year-old chap who apparently has expressed the view that he doesn't care less whether he spreads the virus, is one example of the worst of the worst. There's little sympathy for anyone ignoring the health orders. Even this group of teenagers caught partying after dark at the bottom of the North Bondi Cliffs. Herded to higher ground by Polair's spotlight and speaker, the eight boys were placed in handcuffs and left to explain a $1,000 fine to mum. Uh, 681 penalty infringement notices issued in the last 24 hours. More than 400 of those notices were again for people being outside of their home without a reasonable excuse. Sideline Sharks player Josh Dugan denies lying to police when he was found a long way from Sydney. The 31-year-old stopped at 11.30 last night in Lithgow, where he allegedly told officers he was moving to the area and feeding animals before admitting to visiting a friend. He and a passenger turned back to Sydney, only to be pulled over a second time travelling in the wrong direction. The NRL is investigating and criminal charges could be laid. It's getting harder and harder to hide if you're doing the wrong thing, especially in the construction industry, a crackdown following on from the recent shutdown. Workers sent home if their paperwork isn't in check. It is a struggle, but it's, um, you know, it's just what has to be done. Like Nobody likes telling people to go home. They've all got families to feed. Our camera's rolling on another random blitz in Marsden Park. Authorising me under the Public Health Act. Inspectors have asked these tradesmen to show proof of their QR check-in as well as identification and vaccination records. One of the men here is from Campsie and he doesn't have his documentation, so he's being sent home. He may lose a chunk of his pay too if officers follow through with a fine. Tiffany Genders, Nine News. For breaking news, turn to Peter Overton, nightly at six.